laundry day, my favorite. It's about time, too. The flies are coming from your shorts. Uh -huh. She washable, cold water, dry clean only. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Don't worry. Okay. In about 15 minutes, Chris is going to find out why certain clothes are dry cleaned. Did you ever wonder why? And what is dry cleaning anyway? Is it really dry? Well, the answer to this mystery starts with this. Water. Aside from being a refreshing drink, water is a solvent, meaning it can dissolve all kinds of different substances. Water's ability as a solvent makes it great for cleaning clothes because it can dissolve all kinds of dirt. Water cannot, however, dissolve oil or grease, but we get around that problem by dissolving some detergent in it, which helps break up those greasy stains. There's just one problem with using water to wash your clothes. You see, water can react with certain fabrics like cotton, wool, and silk, causing them to wrinkle, or even worse, shrink. Oh, no, no, no. I just bought this. This presents a bit of a dilemma. I mean, how are you supposed to wash that silk shirt <gasps> without it coming out three sizes smaller than when it went in? Well, the solution to this problem appeared way back in 1840, when a gentleman in France made an interesting discovery. was the owner of a dye works operation in Paris. One day, so the story goes, he accidentally knocked over his kerosene lamp. <laughs> spilling kerosene onto his greasy tablecloth. Well, to his amazement, the liquid evaporated and miraculously dissolved the greasy stains without affecting the fabric or the dye. One did. And civilization took yet another step forward. Jolly had discovered the power of petroleum-based fluids, like kerosene, to dissolve grease, oil, and fat. The kerosene molecules are able to squeeze in between the molecules of grease and break them up. They can do this because kerosene and grease are both oil-based, so they can mix. Water can't do that. Armed with this new solvent, kerosene, Jolly went on to open the world's first commercial dry cleaning operation, way back in the 1840s. Now, the reason they call it dry cleaning is because the clothes are washed in a solvent other than water. They still get wet. In fact, the first method of dry cleaning involved taking soiled clothes and dunking them into vats filled with kerosene. Now, once the dirt was all floated away, the garments were removed and hung to dry to let the solvent evaporate. The clothes were thoroughly cleaned without wrinkling and, more importantly, without shrinking. Of course, there was just one problem with this method. Kerosene, like so many other petroleum-based solvents, is highly flammable. This fact made dry cleaning a rather hazardous business. That is until the 1930s, when this stuff was invented. It's perchloroethylene, or perk. It's a synthetic, non-flammable solvent. Originally developed to clean greasy aircraft parts, it's now the solvent of choice in many of today's dry cleaning operations. Of course, today, the dry cleaning process is a little more sophisticated. Hi there. Hi, how are you today? Got some pants there. Mm -hmm. When the clothes come in, they're tagged for identification purposes, then inspected for any stains or spots. Now, identifying stains is a very important step. You see, the perk solvent they use to clean the clothes is really only effective at dissolving grease, fat, and oil, which is fine since the majority of the soil on our clothes comes from our own body oils. But when it comes to certain stains, like those containing sugar, perk is not very effective. These stains must be removed by hand, with the use of special cleaning agents, some elbow grease, and ironically enough, water in the form of steam. 
Now, the reason they pay so much attention to removing stains is this. See, these spots mysteriously appeared after the dry cleaning process. They weren't there before. So where'd they come from? Well, these spots were probably caused by some colorless drink or juice that was spilled and then forgotten. You see, sugary substances like alcohol and clear soft drinks become virtually invisible once they dry. That is, till you add heat. The heat from the iron essentially cooked the sugar in the drink, causing it to turn brown. The same thing can happen with heat from the dry cleaning process. Once that happens, it's usually too late. The stain is set in the fabric and can't be removed. That's why it's a good idea to let the dry cleaner know of any stains ahead of time. Once the stains have been cleaned up, the clothes are sorted and then tossed into what looks like a giant front-loading washing machine. This is where it all happens. The clothes are washed in a mixture of perk solvent and detergent, and then go through a drying cycle, all in the same machine. Once they're dry, the clothes are pressed, touched up with an iron, and wrapped. And if all goes well, the clothes come out looking like new. I think there's been some mistake. I think these are Chris's pants. Coming up next, Chris finds out why injuries heal faster in a hyperbaric chamber. And we answer some viewer questions. The Tiger Fives International Indoor Soccer Championships from December 4th to December.